Right. So uh, this will be Aries Sun Moon and as well rising. A weekly general tarot reading for, uh, March second to March eighth, twenty twenty. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a in a personal reading with me. Uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, uh, we are going to move straight away uh, into the spread for the week for you. And the first card which stands as a topic for your week, uh, that is to be the Empress. Followed next uh, by the, the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here, we do have the Six of Swords. Moving next is going to be the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the strength card. Afterwards, it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, Taro is um, saying that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the gift and the blessing of the magician card. Moving next, that is what kind of impression people are going to have in you. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering. Uh, that is to be the uh, justice card. Okay, so um, Aries, this week it can be as, product as productive as you make it, and as well it can it can be insignificant as you make it as well. Uh, we have these um, two cards at the start. By the way. Before we go to the first two cards, let's move through them one more time. So we do have the Empress first, followed by the Six of Swords. Afterwards, it is the Strength. Moving next, it is the Magician. Ten of Pentacles. And last one here, it is the Justice. All right. So our first two cards, well, the energies this uh, week are going to place you in a bit of a uh, kind of uncomfortable spot and uncomfortable situation positions the position that is now the six of swords as a energy it is where one is start feeling like something is is hanging on or rather like a something is about to happen and once it happens nothing is going to be the same now, the thing is that it's not going to be that dramatic as you may sense it to be, but the Six of Swords as the energies are pushing you to make action. I mean, any kind of action, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, you know, in, or in uh, regards to your social circle. So you are going to be, what is the English word? Restless. Probably this is the word that I'm searching for. Now, the problem is, is that with this restlessness that you are going to experience, also you're going to have the impression that there is a lot in stake here. If you don't do anything, you're going to lose a lot. But if you do a lot, then you're going to, you may lose also a lot. So it's kind of like it's going to look like that it is lose-lose type of situation, which is totally untrue. And that is the topic itself here with the Empress. And it points that, yes, it's an important time, okay? You, you got to do something about your relationship or about your career or in generally about your relationship life. Because these cards, for those who are single, are to refer, like, you know, you, you got to step out already. You can't stay 24-7 at your home or meet with the same people all over again because it's, it's not going to happen with them. I mean, you have uh, you have hanging out with the same people for like the past six months and nothing is happening there. So you got to go out and socialize elsewhere, you know, and that could be a bit terrifying and frightening. However, uh, the Empress card here tells us a few things about the uh, topic itself, which is fed by those um, energies. Now, those energies are going to make you think uh, and think a lot, you know, how you want to, um, I would say, improve in your life moving forward. Uh, what kind of people you want to so so associate yourself with? What kind of job you want to work? What, what you want to be in general moving forward into the future? And uh, it is where uh, here the, the, the week is going to differentiate those who are going to make it totally unsubstantial, uh, unsubstantial and those who are going to make it very, very important and substantial week. So um, those who are, are not going to make anything throughout the week, obviously, they will say, well, it's better to just stay around. If I don't know what I'm doing, it's better not to do anything. But the other portion of you, Aries, that decides to actually make a move 
Um, it does look like that there will be a bit of seclusion here. It's like a withdrawal, uh, kind of detaching from the midst of activities, if you will. So you can uh, you can basically scale the pros and cons. Uh, at the end of the day, take the most well-found and balanced decisions for how, decision. Excuse me for what kind of a move you are to do in regards to your love life and in regards to your career as well. Uh, and the thing with the emperor is, it is that. Uh, the products of your labor, either bitter or sweet, you got to swallow them all. So that's why the more time you take to analyze the pros and cons, the better, uh, obviously, the decision is going to be. And uh, here it is where I said that it is going to be a bit uncomfortable week because it will feel like you have to rush it. That, that's the thing with the Six of Swords. If you don't do something right now in this very moment, nothing can be that moving forward into the future. While in reality, you do have time to think and to decide how you want to approach the situation itself. And that leads us to the uh, next one here, which is the strength card. That is uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome. And that is the restlessness itself, the passion going into one extreme, um, uh, trying desperately to find what is going to burst your enthusiasm or going to amplify your enthusiasm. While here, the challenge is going to be to tame the beast within, okay? To tame that passion, to tame that enthusiasm, to tame that restlessness, if you will. Another challenge, it is uh, especially is going to be true for those who are um, with a lack of uh, with a lack of sovereignty. What I mean, people who constantly need to, uh, how can I say, have an uh, either an approval or a simple yes for what they're doing. Just to give you an example, I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, you want to say uh, change your job and you start talking about it with your friends and with your family. And if the majority says that you, you got to stay where you are, it's, it's safe, right? Uh, you rather will be more prone to stay there instead of, um, you know, go by with those who are saying it's a good idea. Uh, that is to be a challenging because you have to make up your mind on your own. But with, with this card, you can't go by with what others think you gotta do. You you have to find it for yourself here. And it's another thing that says that you have to persevere through patience, not rush things around. It's just do your move or do your decision whenever you feel comfortable of doing it. Because as we said, at the start of the week, you are to feel restless. You are to feel like some something is breathing in your neck uh, and uh, that you got to do something about it while well, that's completely untrue. And whatever risk you think you are taking with those cards, it is way lower than your, than, than your actual thoughts about it, that is. Next, uh, it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, Taro says that you're going to enjoy. And we do have the Magician card. So um, generally, as a gift and blessing, the Magician kind of points uh, that uh, you are... Um, gonna make a, um, a first steps into something. It's very difficult to describe it as a gift and blessing in that particular narrative. And pretty much the magician points that you can do it, that's the gift and the blessing for you, okay? So you are kind of like a, a not, not confident enough that you will be able to pull to pull it through and etc etc the magician pretty much says that it is given to you to make the magic happen something that you faced with total disbelief that you will be able to make it you can make it now on a more uh, practical or on a more practical level uh, if we are talking about relationships the magician points that you are going to be gifted with an attention that it is attention purely for what you truly are meaning that that person does not expect you to be anything any else and if you decide to move forward with that relationship they will not gonna try to change you now I, I watched a meme uh, or I saw a meme on Facebook where uh, it was that picture of uh, Harry and Meghan and they uh, and the, me the meme said he is a prince and she still wants to change him you know it's just it's just like that uh, but that's just a meme uh, so 
the person that you're going to associate with if that's about relationship that you got to do something about your relationship life is going to take you exactly for what you truly are and that is kind of like can be seen here uh, with uh, the six of uh, swords in the uh, empress card so uh, let me tell you how it's to play out you decide that nothing can be done in your current social circle so you feel restless to jump in to get associate yourself with other people uh, with new people but that of course may make you associate yourself with the wrong people so you kind of withdraw from the midst of activities there to associate with anybody to identify what kind of a people what kind of social circles you want to go in okay and bam there you got the gifts and the blessing of someone kind of likes you for what you truly are and you have all the prerequisites for a relationships next uh it's uh, the um how people are going to look at you and how people are going to take on you. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. Not much can be said about this card apart from it is highly related to the um, here, the um, Strength cards, which is the challenges. Because the Ten of Pentacles here points out of dependency. People are going to see that you are simply severing ties with them. Or, all right, that you are becoming more and more independent from the family op uh, opinion, for example. Or more and more independent than your best friend's opinion. More and more independent that, uh, from uh, your husband or a wife's opinion, etc., etc. And that will make people, you know, a bit nervous. And they will try to exert more control, of course. Okay, uh, and it is where the strength card plays in that you need to know know that you're not obliged to explain yourself to everybody you just at the end of the day you got to do what makes you feel happy what makes you feel enthusiastic what makes you feel useful if you will and uh, the last one that we do have here for you Aries is going to be the justice and uh, that is the guidance so justice kind of confirms the uh, Empress card saying that Whatever you saw, neither bitter or sweet, at the end of the day, you gotta swallow it. Because the justice is exactly that. Justice is going to be served. The more sound actions you make, the bigger change you get. Okay? Nothing you do, nothing comes around. Uh, and you gotta go by with uh, with uh, this maximum uh, maxima throughout the week. You want new relationship? Well, go out and date people. Okay? You want a better job? Well, start applying for for other positions or you want promotion well do do better it's simply that don't don't make excuses just do better that's uh, by with the with the justice but also the justice uh, as a, a guidance it urges you to have an astute discernment in between what wastes your time and what actually it is to produce results for you because once again if you waste your time your time gets wasted. So throughout this week, uh, like I said at the start here, Aries, you are gonna reap exactly what you have sown, guys. And uh, that being said, especially for troublesome relationships, says you you go there and you face the aggression with kindness. Well, kindness is what you're gonna get at the end of the week. You go there into your career and you bust your ass working. Well, rewards it is what you're gonna reap at the end. But if you answer the aggression with aggression, it will breed even more aggression, okay? You try to retro to, to kind of like, I don't know, um, avenge something that your partner did a mistake in there. Well, vengeance is what you get and nothing good will come out of it. So good things breed good results. Bad things breed bad results. And in these, with these cards, it is something that I very rarely says because it's something that I go by with. Uh, I go by with. Don't do something that you don't want to be done to you, okay? That's just how it goes. And this is how you end up happier than by entering the week. So that being said, there is this was your uh, weekly tarot reading, guys. Uh, March 2nd to March 8th, uh, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below, we'll give you the link to my website from which... Uh, you can see on the very front page uh, all of my services, their pricing, and as soon as you make your purchase of choice, within the next 24 hours, I'm going to contact you, explaining you, depending on the purchase, uh, how your reading is going to take place. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.